Waikiki Steel Guitar Festivals this weekend at the Royal Hawaiian Center in Waikiki. And we're all learning about this great event today. And it's very cool. I want to air, welcome in Aaron Salah, the Director of Cultural Affairs at the Royal Hawaiian Center. And I want to just talk about that. Your title, that's such... That I don't think any other center in Hawaii has a cultural affairs center. What is that like, and, and what do you do, first of all, for the center? Right, so Royal Hawaiian Center, most people think of as, you know, these large flagships mm -hmm. along Kalakaua, mm -hmm. Ferragamo, Valentino, mm -hmm. uh, Harry Winston, and we are really proud to be hosting, oh, yeah. you know, some of these large flagships, but more than 60% of the center is locally owned and operated merchants, so we're really proud of that. And 100% uh, of the rental space it contributes to a, a very vibrant and I would argue the most robust cultural program in Waikiki. Yeah, and talk about that because I was right. talking with you in the commercial break. I had some friends that were visitors that came from Japan and I would they kept telling me about what you guys are doing at the sure. center and, and they would spend the whole day there, not right. only shopping but learning about our culture from the events that you do. Right, so the land under the center is still owned by Kamehameha Schools, which is Princess Bernice Powahi. And my, res my, my responsibility as part of the cultural team is to really maintain her legacy. And so we offer complimentary classes in lohalo weaving, lay making, hula, uh, quilting, lobi lomi. And so the, you know, these classes, these complimentary classes, they really serve as sort of our, uh, the bulwark of the cultural programming that we do. And what we're preparing for is all the fun stuff. So that, you know, these foundational classes really serve as sort of a launching pin mm -hmm. into more in-depth kinds of cultural activities that, that we're able to produce. Mm -hmm. And so this weekend's festivities is part of those, mm -hmm. um, you know, in-depth kinds of things. Well, I'll talk about this because this is the seventh annual. And, and if anybody hasn't been to them before, it gets bigger and better every year. But it's so unique how Hawaii has such a, especially Waikiki, the connection sure. with the steel guitar and the music sure. and that sound. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this weekend, well, it's really the seventh annual. This is the first time Royal Hawaiian Center is hosting the event. Uh, we're really proud to be partnering with Alan Akaka, Addison Ching, and Hai Mele uh, to host this seventh annual event. All day on Saturday, 11 to 9 p.m., we'll be hosting uh, or producing, uh, presenting steel guitar st uh, state of the art. Yeah. Right? Jeff Alhoy, oh, who's who? exactly, Greg Sardina, mm -hmm. uh, all day. Uh, of course, as you mentioned earlier, the next generation mm -hmm. of steel guitarists coming mm -hmm. up. But also on Friday afternoon at 4 p.m., we're hosting John Troutman. John Troutman is a historian from Louisiana mm -hmm. who has committed, made this scholarly commitment to the steel guitar. He just very recently published a book on yes. the mm -hmm. uh, And he looks at how the steel guitar, this instrument invented in Hawaii by a Hawaiian, a Kamehameha Schools graduate, uh, really influenced the making and creating of American popular music. I love it. I love so it. It's, yeah, it's some really exciting stuff. I think everyone it. can come down and, and attend that and see his his, his Right, so he's talking. giving a, a general lecture talk on Friday at 4 p.m. That will be followed by a reception open to the public. Uh, also book signing, uh, so 4 to 5 is talk, and 5 to 6.30 the reception. Awesome. And then prepare for this all-day event on Saturday. And we'll have all the information on our website, but i got to ask for you. When you see people, from, from visitors from around the world, but also when we kind of come and connect and, and, and learn about what Hawaii is and the culture throughout music, and especially at, where, at the Royal Hawaii, what do you guys do? How does that make you feel inside? Because it's something you do every day of the year. Sure. I mean, we're, I mean... We're incredibly proud of the work that we do, of course. Uh, what I'm most proud about, or most proud of, is that it's not just the classes that we offer, but the people who come to teach them are master practitioners. Yes, yes. You know, so that's really, you know, really the, the core of... Yeah, uh, and the traditions get handed down, and like you said, for sure. this event, the next generation right, is coming. Right. Oh, mahalo for having this. No, this is such a great event, and we'll have all the information, but please, this is, not for, this is for everybody in Hawaii. Come down, check out this great music and history right here in Hawaii, in Waikiki. Right. And again, they have validated parking. It's awesome, right. trust me. Yes, right. no, we always ask about that. Royalwinecenter.com. Right. There we go. <laughs> you know, and actually, we're going to have a little bit of a preview coming up in a bit, but coming up on Living 808, this is cool. The talented kids hit the stage at last night's So You Think You Can Dance, the next 